video released on social media captured two Russian Mi-24-35 helicopters flying meters above the ground in Ukraine while gunfire can be heard fired in their direction. While the first flies by unharmed, the second aircraft, partially hidden behind desolate houses, is brought to the ground, where it reportedly rolled over before the fuel tank exploded. A thick cloud of black smoke can then be seen rising above the site of the crash. The footage follows the release of further video showing Russian aircraft flying perilously low to the ground near the small city of Kadyivka in eastern Ukraine. Two helicopters, a Russian Ka-52 and Mi-35M, were caught on camera flying through the region, though neither appeared to be shot down. The tactic of flying close to the ground is reportedly used to make it harder for opposing forces to accurately shoot at the aircraft. The method allows the helicopter to travel quicker relative to the shooters on the ground, as well as offering shelter behind buildings and trees. According to the latest figures released by the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense, at least 81 Russian aircraft have been brought to the ground since the start of the war in February. Ukraine claims that a total of over 12,000 Russian soldiers have also been killed and at least 200 have been captured as prisoners of war. But those figures are likely to be higher given that the latest data was released at the start of the month. Reports suggested that senior Russian military officials expected the invasion to be swift, but forces have met fierce opposition in Ukraine. As the war enters its 34th day, the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense confirmed that Russian forces had been further pushed back from areas surrounding the capital of Kiev. In a statement, the ministry said, Ukrainian forces have continued to conduct localized counter-attacks to the northwest of Kiev, including at Irpin, Bukha, and Hostomel. These attacks have had some success and the Russians have been pushed back from a number of positions. But they added that Russian forces still pose a significant threat through their strike capability.